While two-dimensional photographs look great with dramatic lighting, flat lighting of your subjects will typically provide better 3D scan results. One object that's hard to scan is something that is uh, round and very uniform, like a cylinder. So we have this beer can here, which typically would be hard to scan because when you're tracking and you turn the beer can, it looks like the same shape. So you'll lose tracking. But one trick we use to get a round object like this is put some helpful features in there to help track against. So the shape of the eraser and this box here will help keep that tracking as you go around the can. And then later you can edit out these objects and keep just your can. Scandi Pro uses a bounding box to determine the resolution of a scan. One good way to check if the bounding box is set large enough is to wave your hand behind the object before you start scanning. Make the box larger with the slider if the hand isn't being resolved in the virtual bounding box. In order to capture as much detail as possible, keep the bounding box only as large as you need it. Making a bounding box too large for a small subject will lose much of the detail you are trying to capture. By far the biggest mistake that newcomers to 3D scanning make is that they move the scanner, in this case the phone, or the object way too fast. At least right now, creating a 3D asset, whether it is a scan of your face or an object, is just not as quick as taking a two-dimensional photograph. It will take patience and some practice. Rest assured, you will get the hang of it. If you aren't getting good results, slow down. I'll say it again, slow down. If the phone moves too quickly relative to the object, the phone will lose tracking and your scan won't look the way you want it to. If you do see the scan object in the viewed finder start to move around a lot, it means the phone has lost tracking. If you stop moving your phone, Scandi may be able to recover tracking and you can continue your scan. So remember, take it slow. You'll get a scan that you'll want to upload to Sketchfab and show off to all your buddies that are stuck in a 2D landscape.